hello everyone welcome back to the new video so from this video we are going to start new tool that is power bi so first of all in this video we are going to basically introduce power bi tool we are going to understand the basics of this tool and why it is used so let's start when you heard of the word power bi the first question that comes to your mind is what is power bi so simple answer is it is a business intelligence tool now if you want to explore that what is a business intelligence tool then what we can do is simply go to google and try to google power bi so when i googled power bi the results that i got are over here power bi is a business analytics service by microsoft it aims to provide interactive visualizations and business intelligence capabilities with an interface simple enough for end users to create their own reports and dashboards in simple terms we can understand that power bi is actually a tool that is given to us by microsoft itself now power bi helps us to get the data from various sources the raw data and then it gives us some interface through which we can visualize that data in the form of the reports and dashboards so why do we need that we need to actually visualize the data because we all are that nowadays most of the companies focus on the data generated by the customers and they want to analyze that data to know everything about the customers or their clients so whenever we try to visualize that data in the form of reports or dashboards then it becomes easier for anyone to take a look on that data and analyze that so power bi is just the tool for that purpose that it takes up the raw data it cleans it visualize it and then gives us full flash report that what is happening in that data now if we talk about the component of power bi then there are four basic components and these components only helps us to perform the necessary actions on the data first component is power query it is used to clean the data so whenever we are talking about a data from raw data source which means it could be in the form of a table that is a structured data or a semi structured data or could be even no structured data so whenever we are talking about raw data it is very much possible that the data that we have can contain some blank records can contain some null values or duplicate records so we do not want our analyze to go wrong because of all these things that is why the first step in power bi is the use of power query which helps us to clean the data so that the data is actually in the form that could be analyzed effectively without affecting the results first of all we need to clean the data we need to remove the blank values null values and the duplicate values then the next component of power bi is power pivot power pivot help us to model the data suppose we are getting a data from various sources from multiple sources then that data need to be modeled perfectly we need to find out the relationship between these different data sources so that they can be connected together with the help of that relation and then they could be joined together to give a common report this is the work of second component of power bi which is known as power pivot after modeling the data and finding out the relation between data our next step is to visualize that data that is how can we actually represent that data in a visual format that could be understood by all the other people so for this purpose the third component of power bi that is the power view is used it is used to visualize the data maybe in the form of a chart in the form of a graph in the form of a dashboard or in the form of a report and the advantage that we get here with power bi is that we get multiple forms through which we can actually visualize our data there are around 280 types of charts available to us in power bi which could be symbol bar chart pie chart donut chart to many more complex type of charts as well also with the help of our dashboard template we can actually represent our data in a dashboard as well now after a data is visualized or a report is generated based upon the data then the next important component is to share that data once you have visualized your data 
you want to share your data with many other people so this is possible with the fourth component of power bi and this component is known as the power bi service so power bi service enables us to share data with multiple people it doesn't matter if the person is sitting over here or somewhere on the other part of the globe you can easily share your data with the help of this tool now if you talk about the features of power bi that why we need to study power bi and not any other software so first feature that comes to our mind it is its search volume search volume is basically the data we have taken through google so google is one of the leading search engine in the world and that's why we have taken the google data now if you just try to show that data then here is actually a report from google trends itself in which we have compared the data for past 5 years of the whole world in which we have searched the two terms that is power bi and its competing software that is tableau software so if you just look at this graph you will find out that this line red line is for tableau and this blue line is for power bi but if you talk about the current trends which is around over here the searching popularity of tableau has decreased over time while if you talk about power bi then you can see that this blue line is increasing and over here you can see that there is a considerable difference between the popularities of tableau and power bi software so this is the most important reason that's why the power bi is preferred because the people all over the world are talking more and more about power bi than tableau if we talk about some other features of power bi then it provides us maximum features such as it gives us large variety of templates for charts around 280 charts supported by it and there are many other features that you will obviously learn later in the tutorial that helps us to make a task a very easy if you talk about the cost of power bi you will find that power bi is very cheap as compared to other softwares some of the features of power bi are available at free of cost so you need not to worry much about the cost in case of power bi if you talk about data connection then power bi enables that around from 100 sources we can just take up the data we can take data from all the microsoft office tools like microsoft excel we can take data from pdf from csv format from the web directly we can take from microsoft access database and there are many more database you can just name it and you will be able to import your data source from that particular software into power bi this is the power that helps us to actually take up the data from various sources in their own format and use it or visualize it using power bi then the next feature is trust power bi is a product of microsoft itself which gives us a sense of trust because microsoft itself is leading company and it gives us a sense of trust that we are actually using the right software and the data is secure because the data is the currency of 21st century so it is very important you must trust the company or the product in which actually using your data and power bi gives us just that so how power bi works power bi actually works into two parts first is the power bi desktop and second is the power bi service if we talk about power bi desktop so power bi desktop is a software that you need to install in your computer and it would carry out all of your tasks that is whatever the data cleaning data visualization task are there it would be done with the help of power bi desktop if you want to generate reports if you want to create dashboards then power bi desktop is your weapon but what happens when you want to share your data with many other people all around the globe then the second component power bi service is used for this purpose power bi desktop is used to generate reports but to share these reports with others power bi service is used if you talk about power bi desktop then it is completely free it can be downloaded very easily from the official website of microsoft so what is all the downloading process and the installation instructions that you need to follow for downloading power bi desktop it is what we are going to cover in the next video so that's all for this video thank you